Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Dimmerborn. Now in the last one uh, we were talking about creating some more storage area and just cleaning up the, the initial starting district a little bit. So um, what I've done just off camera is, is to try and figure out what kind of uh, design we want to put in here. Uh, so if I pull up the, um, the planning mode, this is kind of... Well, not kind of. This is what I came up for, uh, with for this district over here. And uh, essentially, uh, we're gonna, gonna have... Uh, let me pull this down a little bit. So we can see we've got our four uh, medium warehouses uh, at the bottom. Then in the middle, we've got two more medium-sized warehouses here. This one still isn't built. Let's prioritize this a little bit. Actually, give it a high priority. And then once we go up, there's two more medium-sized ones. And then on this side, we've got this small. Uh, and the bathing system here as well. Uh, we've got the roads going up and, and middle. And on this side, very similar. We've got the roads coming up, some decorations here as well. We've got some beaver statues. And I'm going to put in some shrubs as well. Now for that, I do need to remove some of this stuff over here. And then if you go all the way to the top, we've got a few rooftop terraces just to make it a little bit nicer and and another beaver statue to overlook all the all our colonists over here. Uh, great. So what we do want to do is we want to make, make it somewhat symmetrical. I need some explosives for that. And here's where the roads are going to be. So I just want to extend my canal network over here I'm thinking maybe do it even in front of it let's put one more here for sure we'll up you and you can go so that way we can stick another dynamite in here and now we just gotta wait a little bit until the beavers finish the building, uh, building all these these warehouses over here. Now with the uh, with the rest of the things, yeah, we've already paused a couple, so we'll get rid of them, and that way we can um, eventually plan out uh, the farms farms in here as well. Right now we've got a seven. We've got loads of paper, so we can unpause one of you guys power wise. We are somewhat okay, thanks to those windmills. They are small ones. So I suppose if we were to get bigger ones, that's gonna take paper, gears, and planks. I think we're quite okay on that. Let's, let's take a quick look. Ooh, planks is pretty low. But quite a few gears. Okay, maybe we have to... We've got quite a few um, few lumber mills over here. So I'm not really sure if I want to build more more lumber mills or, or, or not. May just have to slow down the gears production. Now, what I was thinking is, is also giving different warehouses different priorities. So that way, let's say, we don't want more than 200 gears. Let's do that this warehouse over here is going to be the only warehouse in this own oh <laughs> let me try again this warehouse over here is going to going to be the only warehouse that will accept gears and in all the other ones we're going to tell you not to accept any gears at all so let's take it off from all of them do we have any warehouses in this area here as well? Nope. Does not look like it. So we've... Let's get a better angle. This one we've done. This one's for gears. Bottom ones will do the same. We'll uncheck the gear. And now to the other side. We'll try and do the same thing. Yep, let's uncheck you a little bit lower a 
and now we should be good now let's just check we'll have a look around if there's any more warehouses now there's a couple over here and one here all right they don't accept any gear so that's good take it off from here as well all right we do have this section here uh, that's a good spot take the gears off from all of them so that way once we hit 200 gears we should stop the production of uh, of gears which means we can uh, have some more blanks come in as well now with blanks I do want to do the same thing or do we what else do we want to limit don't think we're maybe paper just but the, the reason why I don't mind planks is because it just takes um, takes logs same with paper all it needs is logs and with the shredder we're okay I guess dynamite could be the other thing over here So we'll uncheck everything else. So that way, this warehouse over here is going to be just... Just dynamite. And I'll quickly go through... Do the same in, in all those warehouses. Explosives. That one's still not built. Try and get the bottom ones. And the drought has finally ended, so that's good. We're going to have some more some more power for our production buildings as well cool explosives well these don't matter too much i suppose we'll just put them on empty all right and we've got to do the same almost there get rid of all those explosives and one in the middle. That's already out from here. Oh, there's one more. No explosives, no explosives. So that is good. I think, yeah, that was... Uh, we do have this warehouse over here. Okay, so no gears and no explosives in, in this one. Yeah, it's sometimes hard to remember where all those warehouses are have been placed but i think we've got all of them now so that should be good that's a that's a way how we can manage our our stock as well and uh and not just endlessly produce certain certain products what is this building over here that's the builders hut. okay so this one is fine i do think we might get some more beavers in and we, we've got a few dynamites in place already. And is the last warehouse built as well? It does look like it is. So let's do the same. Gears and explosives are out. And for the road, we are going to remove this one here. So we can put another explosive. Oh, they are going rather quick now. It seems like the warehouse is... Now pretty much complete. Which means we can... Ah, oh, that is so satisfying. And we can put in those new... Road networks. Do the same on this side. Detonate you guys. Nice. And we'll put in this... Platforms and the road network here as well. Lovely. Okay, so that means in here we can start putting in some trees. Oh, we got detonate this one now as well. And yes, I know you're not connected, but we'll get this last last one here very quickly as well. And here we go. 
So this means, yeah, we can put some more decorations in uh, in this side. I think we had the birch trees. Yep, something like so. And in front of it. Do a couple more beavers. Like so. Yeah, and that looks much better. Uh, Alright. I uh, think you may have to move. Yep. There we go. And now we can put in the final platform in this location as well. Which means we can take out up until here. And that looks pretty good. Uh, now with the front, now that they've removed those um, wheat fields from here, we can just tidy up a little bit in here as well. So the road network will come to about here. And let's grab a quick decoration. Maybe something like this. And a couple more birch trees. Do have to remove one more bush over here. And I think we'll put in dynamite. Yeah, we could just go around from here, actually. Oh, and yeah, we can also remove these roads. I think I'll have to relocate our farmhouses as well. Any of you guys empty? No, still 177. You know what? You are going to go. What I'll also do, because I want to rebuild this whole street over here. Uh, we are going to put the inventors, for the time being, just over here. We'll have a couple of them. And empty those. Okay, let's prioritize these with haulers so we can get them out. I do think we are going to need a few more beavers, actually. So, to do that, we're going to need to... Oh, that's interesting. Wait. Is it different height? Can't really tell. Oh, no. It's all good. So let's open up another another apartment over here. We'll prioritize this as well. Nice. Water wise, oh, we are pretty low, so let's get a few more pumps going as well. And now, yep, yeah, that looks pretty cool. So the final bit. Actually, let's not put a road in there. Let's do... This. Uh, landscaping. Dynamites. Alright. They should... Yep, they're cracking on with this uh, right away. So that way we can... Hopefully have this done today. Crap from the middle. One more. And here we go. Put in those platforms real quick as well. Yeah, that's that's looking much nicer now. Don't think this forester can reach all the way here. We'll also take out these inventors. And let's try and empty, prioritize. Right, so this warehouse is already being emptied. Which means we can get rid of 
the two of you. And we'll do actually the same on these warehouses too. So we can just tidy up, uh, up a little bit. Now more dynamite in this location. Right, we got this done as well. Gonna unlink you for a second. Stick another one in here and almost done. And this road, oh, wrong one. Perfect. And a couple trees in here. All right. That's looking, starting to look much nicer now. And they're putting in some dynamites over there and the roads seem to be getting done as well. Detonate. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Right, so that answers my question. If a beaver stays on dynamite, on top of dynamite, they uh, will unfortunately not make it. Oh no. <sighs> okay, well, that was for... Uh, for science, yeah. Uh, sometimes sacrifices need to be made for uh, for the sake of the science and the progress progression of our colony. May you rest in pieces. Are you emptied now as well? Yep. Yeah, swiftly moving on. Let's. Uh, nothing. Uh, nothing happened. Nothing to look at over there. Uh, let's try and get the other road updated here as well. I do feel really bad about that. Poor Beaver. He was just doing his job. But hey, it's it's not my fault that he's so dumb and did not realize that you shouldn't stand on, on top of a dynamite. Okay. No one else died. Well, that is good. And then we'll pull this road through here as well. I think I will move one of the foresters a little bit back. I think this corner will be uh, will be the preferred one. So let's get those two out from here. Water seems to be slowly going up. Still not quite where we need it. Uh, we got 35 children. 30 of them are in this colony. I mean district. All right, and then the next next thing will be to sort out this area here as well. Oh, we got no inventors now. Well, that's okay. Once we get those, uh, uh, they, th once the kids have grown up, then we can um, have some of them manning the inventor stations as well. And now that these are empty, let us build another forester. Let's see how far can you reach. That should be fine for now. Yeah, and we've got plenty of planks as well, so... Let's do that. Right. Do we want to connect this up? A little off, but... That's okay, I suppose. With the farms. Since we've got no farms over there, there shouldn't be a problem to move it to the side just a little bit. Now, yep, farmhouse. I suppose that will be fine. We'll do one over there. And what we'll also do is... I think we can take one more. Yep, we can. Okay, so that's looking looking pretty good now. I think the next project, uh, what I'll do is I'll probably, off camera, I'll move these things around a little bit further. But for our next project, let me just slow the time down just a tiny bit. Is to, well, one, maybe reduce some of the... Uh, lumber production area that we have there because we've got a massive one here as well and i was just thinking maybe putting in some more relaxation zones and uh, once we get what is it 
pleasure the carousel. That would be uh, pretty cool to have it somewhere in the middle here. Maybe connecting to this road. So it's a little bit easier to access for beavers coming from here. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be the next project actually. Let's do this straight away. Let's let's just remove all... Well, not remove, but we're, we're going to ask them not to plant any new trees over here. In preparation of starting to build a carousel. And some more entertainment as well. Uh, the water level seems to be going low here. So let's just top it up a little bit. And for our next project, we will be progressing up towards here. So let's get this uh, started as well by removing all these trees from here. We have to designate this uh, cutting zone. We can chop down those trees. Oh, you're full. Okay. Uh, so in that case, let's get another storage. One of those log piles will do. No unemployed beavers in this district. Well, how about we change that? We'll get you built as well. And water wise, they're okay actually. They've only got 16 beavers in here, 5 kids. Another house being built over here, so. So that should be all good. Uh, when it comes to these ruins. How come you're paused? I do want to exp export those um, metal scraps from here. And since it's going a little bit slower, I think we will, yeah, we'll put a couple more scavenger flags over here. And you got no one as well. Okay. Yep, we are going to need those buildings up then. Food-wise in this district, we're actually, well, we got way more than we can use. Okay. Yeah, and in front here, not really sure what we want to put. Maybe... Hmm... Might put some uh, either decorations. Or let's unlock this bench real quick as well. You know what? Yeah, those benches look pretty pretty good to me. And then we can put a few trees just in the corners there as well. And with this path, I think we'll go to the side just a little bit and then connect straight over there. But for, for the time being, it, it should be fine. Let's have a look at our food resource-wise as well. We've still got quite a bit of wheat. Not a lot of potatoes. So I think our focus should also be to try and um, bring some more higher tier... Well, essentially put in a bigger supply of, uh, of higher tier food. So that way, let's see, nutrition, actually, well, right now, their nutrition needs are satisfied. That is good. We're just going to need some more, let's see, fun and social life. Uh, social life is probably because we don't have a campfire here. Yeah, we can probably plop one down as well. Uh, right, we've got another... Another building, but no one's moved in. That's odd. Let's do... I don't know, for now, something like this. Well, that's really odd to see. That nobody wants to move out into the other building. Might have to come back to this. Because typically, every time you build a house, they just automatically reshuffle themselves and... I moved to a new building just like here. As soon as we built it, it was, um, you know, everyone was moving in. All right. 
yeah, so just a quick summary. We've got this new new nice warehouse uh, unit over here that also has a bit of bit of space for them to chill out and uh, socialize with their beaver friends. Then um, we do need some more water in here. Let's do that again. And then, um, yeah, we've set up uh, some stock management here as well. I'm sure in the future there will be better ways to do this. But for the time being, I think that seems to be the only way unless you want to go and constantly click on these different production buildings and, and, and pause them. And for here, we are expanding a little bit more, um, well, trying to give them more space to uh, space to live at. We'll get rid of those ruins and then we'll move up here as well to get... First, we'll clear out this area, remove all those trees. And then what I was thinking is, um, um, I sort of want to change the location of this district, district over here, the building, put it somewhere in the middle on top, and then build this massive set of stairs with all sorts of decorations and benches and, uh, and using some of the monuments as well that we still have not unlocked. Uh, but all right, this will be, uh, it for this episode. I uh, do appreciate all the all the new uh, viewers and, and subscribers as well. So thank you very much for joining and I do hope to see you again.